Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. It's been a while. It's been a couple weeks since I've actually been playing at all. <laughs> and Willow West says, you're alive! So yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> I had surgery. It was a, actually more of a procedure, just a, a scope of my throat and a, a biopsy that was taken. And it all came back fine. Um, but uh, anyway, so I had difficulty swallowing occasionally. Like once every few months, I'd get food like stuck in my esophagus not my windpipe but actually my esophagus and then I'd have to basically spit it up so that got to be a little annoying and unpredictable <laughs> so last thing you want to do is have that happen when you're in the middle of a restaurant or something like that so anyway I got that handled and I want to be uh, working towards getting that fixed along with the doctor so that went well and uh, yeah I would have been back up and running within a few days um, but uh, what's the temperature like out here Let's see. Ooh, it's nasty. I'm thirsty. It's really cold out. Ugh. Let's get back inside here. So anyway, um, let's grab a little something to drink here. I know we tried to kill that bear, and we didn't have any luck, so I came back down here. I think what we're going to do is just go on a bear hunt, and uh, I definitely want to get this bear, get this bear roll going, and... Uh, from there, I don't know where we'll go. I mean, there's not really a whole lot much else we can do other than just sort of, you know, grind uh, sleep cycle ourselves uh, into the ground. I mean, there's not, we're sort of pretty well set. It's almost like end game times here. But um, let me see what else has been going on. Um, yeah, two days, about two days after my surgery. Oh my gosh, I thought I got food. Well, let's put it this way. The bad news is, you'll probably never hear anybody say this. The bad news is, it wasn't food poisoning. Yeah, so I went back to work, and I, at, towards the end of one, uh, I think it was like, I think I had my surgery thing on Thursday, and then Saturday night, I was just like, oh man, I don't feel good at all, when, towards the end of my shift, and uh, finished off my shift, no problem, and uh, let's eat something here, and um, went home, and then just promptly started to just have bad vomiting, bad diarrhea, every like 15 minutes or so I was I was in that bathroom and it was exhausting because I've been up since the early morning I couldn't go to sleep you know I mean I just couldn't do it because I was just too too sick I got to the point where I was so dehydrated I tried to drink something and I just immediately throw it back up like within I'd say probably about five ten minutes and uh, I thought it was food poisoning because that's how it was last time I had food poisoning um, in the Outer Banks with some oysters Rockefeller go figure right I live in Ohio never get seafood poisoning go to the freaking restaurant alongside the ocean and promptly get food poisoning. You'd think that would be the place where you get the freshest food. So are we still hungry? I thought I ate it. Well, I guess we are. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some more. And, yeah, that was pretty bad. So I was down for, like, about three days with that. And it turned out it wasn't food poisoning. It was actually a GI bug that was going around. Probably like roto or something like that. Rotovirus. So anyway, had to call in sick a couple days to work. And then uh, my weekend... Uh, you know, as soon as I started feeling better and I was just basically to the point where I felt like, I don't know, mildly like I was dead, um, my wife and my oldest daughter, my two-year-old, got it. And um, so while they were convalescing, uh, I was basically almost recovered and I ended up taking care of them. And uh, let's see if we can go find that bear real quick here. Let's take a look here. 41 degrees, tired, hungry. Here, here let's just... Do a little patrol here, see if we can find that bear. What's the time? Three hours of daylight left. Yeah, let's do it real quick. We'll just go up here to the top of this little mountain, see if we see anything. And then, uh, if so, we'll decide what to do from here. But I'm not anticipating finding the bear at this point. Um, so, yeah, I took care of them, and uh, which took another two to three days. And uh, we had our little one, and she hadn't been showing any signs, and we were really worried about her. She's only about six months old. And uh, the bad thing is, you know, if a six-month-old gets something where they can't even keep fluids down or anything like that, um, you're probably going to end up in the hospital with them on an IV just to stay hydrated. So we, we she wasn't symptomatic when my uh, wife and daughter, uh, my oldest daughter, were. So we were like, oh, we're sending them into exile. We sent her into exile straight away to my to my mom and dad's house. And uh, she did great there. Two days. It was it was actually the first two nights, or actually the first night she'd ever been away from us. And uh, my mom's like, "Oh yeah, she did great. We did. We had a wonderful time." And next day, yeah, great. You know, we can we can keep her again because we still weren't we still weren't 100 better. And uh, then once everybody was 
feeling better, we brought her back, and then my dad got sick. <laughs> so, anyway, he went through the rigmarole as well. And uh, uh, my mom somehow managed to deal with it all and not get sick. I don't know how she didn't get it, because it was hyper contagious in, uh, in our little circle of friends. And then uh, everything looked good. Maddie, the youngest one, was uh, I'm still looking for that bear. Was uh, looking like she was uh, had avoided it completely, and then she started getting some mild uh, mild roans. And uh, she never really threw up. I, I guess she threw up three times, and that was it. But um, other than that, she was pretty pretty good shape, really. So she she I think she got a little little bit of it, but. Uh, not nearly as bad as everyone else, and that was really fortunate. So, I mean, that whole process really took about a week and a half <laughs> from, from the time we got sick to the time where everybody was in the clear. So I wasn't at all in any type of shape taking care of everybody to come up here and do any recording. And I do need to apologize to you guys and to uh, Hinterland, especially to Wrath. Um, I, I violated their trust, and uh, that's why if you notice episode 25 is now offline um, where I talked about the uh, next update uh, yeah I thought I was being very, very vague um, but I shouldn't have been discussing it at all and uh, as part of the scout corps and uh, anyway uh, something was on reddit about it talking about uh, a new thing coming out and all the stuff that I had uh, sort of teased about again I, I thought I did it in a very vague way but uh Raph made some points to me. He's like, look, you know, talking about timelines and things like that, not cool. Um, you know, I really trusted you. I'm really disappointed. And um, anyway, I, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm outside of the circle of trust now. I've been uh, booted out of the squ scout corps, uh, which is, you know, I think it's completely just. I don't have any problems with that, and I don't blame Raph at all because... You know, he's dealing with a company that he basically took a risk on. He's got a family, too. He's got family and kids, and uh, he has a bunch of other employees who have families and kids who have taken a risk to come over there and, and work with him. And the uh, last thing you need is somebody out there undermining your efforts, um, overstepping their bounds, which is what I was doing. I didn't mean to do it, but uh, I did. Um, so I do need to apologize to Hinterland because, believe me, the last group of people in this particular industry that I would want to do that to would be those guys and uh, that just made it really hard when he when he sent me an email saying hey I heard about this and uh, I'm really disappointed in you I, I literally had knots in my stomach not because of the not because of the GI bug either but because I felt like I had very much in hindsight I betrayed him and that's absolutely I, I, I you know it, it made me almost just want to just close down the channel be like you know what I don't trust myself so if I was to do something like that so unintentionally but uh, you know anyway um, but I figured that uh, keep moving forward here um, we ended on a pretty good note I mean he said you know nothing personal um, but uh, I can't have that liability at this point with the Scout Corps maybe maybe uh, things will change in the future and you'll be back in the circle of trust as it were and uh, but uh, yeah so it been a lot of negatives I guess over the last week and a half it hasn't all been sunshine and rainbows and puppy dogs let's go ahead and eat that I was running out there with a little <laughs> smelling real delicious to those wolves but uh, let's grab some sleep here so and, and I apologize to you guys for that um I mean, I just uh, would hate to do anything that would ever de be detrimental to, to such a great gaming company, which provides excellent games for you guys. I think we need to uh, heal these up here. So that's my apology to you guys in Hinterland and Raf. So let's get back to gaming. Otherwise, I could just sit there and wallow in my own stupidity for a long time. Okay, we need some... We got a couple of these, don't we? Let's tear up one of these. Yeah, we'll tear that one up. Let's make some cloth, people. Let's make some cloth. I kind of want to go back and start... Uh, once once we get the barrel roll, and I think I'll d declare that in-game, 
complete here and we'll just say that our character here lives uh, happily ever after into the into the uh, the white snowy abyss that is the long dark um, and sort of end the series on a good note but uh, um, I, I kind of thinking about playing I, I'll take uh, suggestions for games I should play next um, I'm gonna continue playing uh, Far Cry Primal and um, I, I'm th and of course Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to use that as sort of a, a type of game that I would basically have. What I just talked about for the last 10 minutes is normally what I'd use that game for. But uh, let's go and get another drink here. But I'm taking, uh, I'll take requests on survival games. I'm kind of thinking about doing Project Zomboid. Revisiting that one. Because that was always a really fun game. And there's been a lot of new things that have been introduced to the game. So... Uh, I think that'd be good, um, but any other suggestions? I'm open to it. There's, a, there's always, it always seems like there's a game out there that I have not. Let's not do eight hours. Yeah, let's do eight hours. Um, it always seems like there's a game out there that is lurking that I have never heard of. It's been out for a few months, and it's just flying below the radar. And uh, someone mentions it, and then I try it, and I'm like, wow, this is really a good game. So, if anybody knows anything like that, I'll, I'll take advice. I'm open to advice. And then, of course, when story mode does come out for uh, the long dark, we're going to be basically dropping everything we're doing and jumping right on that one. Because that is what I have been living for for this channel for the last year and a half or so. Alright, three hours of darkness. We're doing good on heat and everything. Alright, let's sleep for four. All right. Very good. Let's take a... We're going to need some more water, aren't we? All right. Let's see if we can go get a bear. I'd like to get a bear in this episode. Um, have another piece of meat here. Should have ate that first. But... Oh, oh, it's looking nasty out there. Looking like a storm's moving in. It wasn't that... The visibility wasn't that bad just a few seconds ago, but now it is. Uh, I think uh, I think we'll just rest for an hour or so. See how things go until this storm passes. I have a feeling the blizzard's about to come in. Oh, yeah. It's looking... Well, it looks about the same. Okay. So... Still not willing to go out there and take that risk. Let's see if we can top up, top off our calories here. Oh, that's about perfect right there. And get a drink to wash that all down. All right, good stuff. Got a new cruiser at work. Ah, there's the blizzard. It's uh, we got the Ford uh, SUV, the Interceptor SUV. It's like a, basically it's a Ford Explorer with. You know, I don't know. They do some extra things for the police package, probably like upgraded suspension stuff like that. That's what they always did for the Crown Vicks. Uh, the engine's nothing, nothing too crazy, but uh, I don't know. I haven't really driven it much. I basically have flipped cars around in, inside the garage because we have a garage where one car will park in front of the other garage and then or in front of the other car, and then we have one off to the side that has sort of its own private spot. But uh, so I, I, I juggled the cars around, and that's about the only time I've driven it. I haven't actually taken them out on the street and driven it. So the chief was telling me, "Man, just take it out already. Just take it out." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm happy with, I'm happy with my old cars. Well, I don't even need to go out there and run around in a new car." But so I don't know. I don't have an opinion on it yet. When the new car came in, I got reassigned from the Dodge Durango uh, to. Uh, to car one. It's car two's the Durango. Car one is the uh man, yep, that's a that blizzard. Car one is the uh Dodge Charger, the the newest one that we have actually. It's the all wheel drive, three hundred and seventy horsepower, hemi engine. It's like the top of the line engine and all that stuff. So it's basically like a little race car. Which is you know it's fine. I think the seats are kinda comfortable. I kinda like that. But uh I don't know. They've just had reliability issues for us. 
our department. They just always had something going wrong with them. And, I mean, we're definitely not driving them like some of these bigger departments where you have a lot of alley driving and things like that, like Cincinnati or uh, Cleveland or something like that. We're pretty... We, they, they, It's like a retirement home for cars, let's put it that way. I mean, our average speed's about 35 miles an hour, and uh, the roads are pretty good condition, and these things don't get torn to pieces like they do in, in some of the bigger cities. Run into hot calls like two, three, four times a shift. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of driving Miss Daisy style of uh, footwork <laughs> going on down there at the pedals. Um, at least when I drive them. So anyway, they still happen. To, it seems like they just have bad reliability issues. The chargers. But uh, hopefully the uh, the new Ford is a little bit more reliable. That's about, I mean that's basically about most of the stuff that's been happening. Not a whole lot else going on. Sickness and betrayal. That's basically it. Looks like it's starting to clear up. I think we're gonna make a we're gonna make a little, a little peek out here. See if we can drop a. Now see, if I pull a bear here, I'm going to have to do it like I did last time and try to get him right up to my doorstep. So, 35 degrees. I wonder if, I, I wonder if this is windy enough to cause a hit to my clothing. Let's take a look at our clothing here. Oh, I do need to repair those, by the way. Maybe we should do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. How many hours do we have? Like four hours? Man, we basically slept this day away. Just wait for the storm to pass. Let's, let's repair these clothes first. Real quick, let's do that. Repair, let's not harvest them. 89% chance of success. Bingo, bango, bongo. 67, let's do another repair on those. 67, 27, 27. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. There we go. How's it looking out there? Much, much better. All right. The wind isn't making it snow sideways. 47 degrees. Oh, yeah, it's much better. Let's see if we can drag a bear over here. Now, I know there's... I wonder if there's two on this map. I wonder if there's one over here and then the one that patrols up here. Not sure if that's the same bear or if it's a different bear. April was, uh, she sent me a message, she's like, are you okay? <laughs> she, on Patreon, because you get a little private message uh, ability if you're a contributor. And, which I go straight to my uh, phone, so I can see it immediately. She's like, are you okay? I have people asking if you're still alive. <laughs> but yes, I'm still alive. So, anyway, that that's what that was about at the start of the episode. She was sending that message. probably saw me in the long dark and was like, oh, hey. Either it's his ghost playing the long dark or or he's doing better. I am feeling much better. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually been that sick before. Like, I was, let's put it this way. The first night when I got sick, my wife was asleep, and I was just, oh my gosh. I got to the point where there was nothing left. I, I got to the point where I was putting water and, and like, fluid in my stomach, mainly water, um, just to have something to throw up because I was getting such the dry heaps. Oh, my God, this is so painful. But, um, yeah, I was doing that. But uh, I was seriously contemplating 
driving. Oh, dang it. There we go. Let's just walk back. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. We can just sleep it off. Save the pain, pain meds. Um, I was thinking about driving myself to the ER that night. Um, the only thing that was stopping me from driving myself to the ER was I didn't think I could actually physically make it to the ER without a change of clothes. So, I'll let you guys... Oh, he's going to chase him right towards us. and We don't have a rifle available. We need to move. Because we got a sprained wrist. We'll have to go hand-to-hand -hand with that wolf if he chases him our way. Because he might split off. Oh, get away from me. We don't need the meat. That's the thing. Where does he go? Did he bring him? He must have just, just brought him down on the other side of that. That little bit of a hill there. He must have. Okay. Good enough. Alright, well, we didn't see a bear, unfortunately. Um, we do need to sleep four hours to heal up our wrist. That's a, we got a lot of wood just laying around here now. I guess it's because we're not really burning any wood. We got all this epic clothing to wear, so. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. And we're right where we need to be, inside our humble abode, so. I think I think I'll just drop the cloth here. We don't need to be carrying around that much cloth. Eat cloth. It's really not that heavy, but ounces equals pounds. Pounds equals encumbrance. Okay. I'll carry one with me just in case for emergency repair. Um, it's a little. I know it's a little early to end the episode, but this is sort of a good spot to do it. You know, well, no, you know what, let's just rest and see where we're at when we wake up here. Two hours from a fall. First aid is uh, two hours of sleep. So, let's just go ahead and get some rest. Um, we're good on thirst, let's get a drink. We'll just sleep through the night. Keep looking for that bear. We'll do a one more quick run out there in the morning and uh, come back. Hopefully we find him. Uh, how are we doing on food? Should be pretty decent. Yeah, we're good. Let's rest for eight. Ooh, bad weather is moving in again. I also do have some peanut butter cookies cooling in the, on the oven behind me, so... I got places I need to be. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. They're not even close to being cool at this point, but uh... So hey, oh, I started getting into this uh, TV show on Amazon Prime, uh, Bosch. I really like it. It's pretty good. The first season I think is better than the second season as far as just sort of kind of being kind of realistic. Just the way that he acts and um, he has some vulnerabilities, but he tries to do the right thing. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate. I mean, for, for Hollywood, it's pretty good. All right. We're good on that. Oh, it's kind of cold out there. But we're good on food, so let's just rest for another... I think we had 10 hours, and then we slept 8, so we still got another, like, 4 or 5 to go. So let's go for 5 hours. Looks nice. Looks nice out there. And we're all healed up. Uh, we need some breakfast. Let's go get ourselves some breakfast bear meat. Here. Chat out here. And this should take us right up to almost perfect. We're going to be almost completely full. That's good. We'll drink that up. Things are going bump in the night behind me. Which always distracts me. But then I remember, wait a minute, I have a cat. So. Let's get another drink here real quick. There we go. Alright. You see the bear out there? Ah, uh, sometimes, I mean, he comes, he comes right up to that, uh. Comes right up to that, uh. That down log. Or that down tree.
I wonder if that deer's gonna be still sitting right up here. Alright. Apparently, I might have missed the bear when it was down. I saw some comments that were saying, hey, that kind of looked like that bear over to the right of the screen at such and such a spot in the video. I never went back and checked it because we're so far away now and so much time has passed that even if it was, uh, I can't go back and get it now. Um, but uh, there's, a, there's a good possibility that apparently it died somewhere. And while I was looking for it, I, I might have... Son of a gun. Okay, game. Wasn't expecting him to be there. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's go check on the bear first. He should definitely not be frozen by the time we just walk over this hill and come back. Hopefully bears are attracted to gunfire. You never know. They're not hibernating during the during the winter, so they do have some screws loose at least. Hey bear. Hey bear, where you at? Hey bear. Just wanna give you a big old bear hug. There's his little den that he likes to try to trap people in. I don't see him at all down there. He's not stuck, because remember how he got kind of glitched that one time? I don't see him down there glitched or anything. Hmm. Part of me wants to go over there, but I'm worried about that wolf. But maybe that was the wolf that normally patrols this area. Let's take a quick peek. How are we doing? We're in pretty good shape. I'm gonna climb up here. Use this as my vantage point. If I can make it up here. Oh, sounds like some nasty weather starting to move in. We're gonna have to get back quick. Would like the wolf hide though, just for crafting. I don't see him anywhere. Oh well. I can see that wolf from all the way over here. You can see his corpse right there. Alright, let's head back. Seemed like such a nice day. get behind this. I hope that this sort of gives me a little bit of movement speed here by getting tucked in here under this hillside. Eh, not much. I'm definitely getting slowed down. We are getting protection though. 40 degrees. I'll tell you what, when you get these animal clothing, these animal furs and skins and whatnot, that really is a game changer. It really is. So I'm thinking what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and skin them up. We got plenty of time. We know where our castle is in case we need to get back there quick. Um, let's grab the hide first. Of course we'll use the... Let's do this, see where we're at in 50 minutes. 
it looks like a storm's moving in here. Okay. Still not looking too hateful. Let's grab as much of the meat as we can. How are we doing on carry capacity? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be a little over, or over. I know over encumbered isn't is uh, redundant. We're, we'll be a little encumbered. Let's do it. Might as well make the most of that bullet, right? Well, wasn't what we'd hoped for, but got to be grateful. hearing things like I don't think they're the normal things that I just hear in my head I think they're things that form the game but make me trip out a little bit out of here. Um, all cured. That's a fresh one. Let's just throw these ones down here, I guess. Got two more. And we'll find some more for this wolf skin. There we go. And uh, there we go. 74% on the, the bear hide. Um, then we need some more for the meat. Are we still... Yeah, we're pretty stuffed in here. Okay, 55%. Oh, we're going to start eating from here. So let's take that. Let's take that. Um, I wonder if we can get... Eh, we have too much meat. Let's take these. I'm going to take out enough so that I can put the wolf meat in here. Since this is the freshest, I'll keep the, the stuff I need to eat first out of there. Um, do one more. There we go. Okay, now let's... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's put our wolf steaks in here. Perfect. Alright, that worked out good. And so we'll just drop those all here. I think they're about the same condition as this one anyway, so it's not a big deal. And we're pretty full, so we don't need to eat any of these at this point. So let's just drop them all. Alright, well... Not the most exciting episode. We did have to uh, fire a shot in self-defense. And um, while we were trying to hunt for something completely different. But um, I think maybe next time we'll... If that wolf is still... Oh, was that him? Okay, that's not the same wolf. That must be the wolf that normally patrols near the, uh, the tree that's fallen over there at the far side of the lake. Let's we'll say, um, if this guy was gone, I'd be more comfortable trying to kite the... Uh, bear back here but with him there there's a couple other wolves that hang out there that bear's gonna be tough to get to of course when a bear's kiting me those wolves might not try to attack me you know what I mean they might actually try to stay away when they see the bear coming in behind because I know that I know they do get scared but I don't know we'll think about it maybe the next episode we will go that way I don't know I kind of like I'd rather get the bear from the far side of the lake there where we've been trying but uh I don't know. We'll see. So, all right, everybody, like, comment, subscribe. I turned this from a short episode into a long episode. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And, um, again, sorry to you guys. Sorry to Hinterland. Um, it's all on me, you know. What can I say? I feel embarrassed having to, having to apologize for it, but I screwed up, so... All right, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your dedicated support. I really do appreciate it. Y'all take care, wherever you might be tonight.